Hey everybody, how are you today? My name is Dr. Annaline Padiachi. Right there. <laughs> and I thought before I start doing more of these video clips, I thought I'd give you a bit of a feel of who I am and um, my background and what I actually do. So that helps you to understand um, what I communicate to you guys. So in recent times, I have been getting a lot of questions sent directly to me on social media or via WhatsApp um, relating to coronavirus, COVID-19, um, food safety. Can we, you know, can we eat salads? Should we eat salads? Do I have to wash my salads in vinegar water? Um, all those sort of things. It, will, will I get a virus that way? Will I get bacteria that way? How safe is our food supply? I've been getting heaps of questions. And during March, I usually take off from social media because it's my birth month and it's not even over. There's still a whole week to go. And because of this whole virus thing, it's kind of pulled me out from the woodwork and put me back up here. And so I thought I'd give you some, a little bit about who I am and, um, and some videos that are coming up. So yeah, I am not a medical doctor. Rather, I have a PhD in nutritional food science and I am a qualified human nutrition scientist and a qualified food scientist. Now, because human nutrition is quite complex, like nutrition in itself is complex, but then you've got to understand human behavior, human anatomy, physiology. Um, my speciality in particular is the gut microbiota and also the digestive tract. So how we can absorb as much nutrients at all the different stages of our digestive tract and what impact that has on our body um, in terms of growth and development, both for um, unborn babies, mom has gone through pregnancy, um, early childhood, all the way up through to the elderly who have trouble swallowing food and have dysphagia. What can we do to process food, to create food products that enhances nutrition and health in the body? So that forces me, because food is so multifactorial, you've got so many different aspects to food, carbs, proteins, fats, but then you've actually got so many different foods like grains and dairy and meat and fish and fresh produce and fruits versus veggies, tomatoes versus carrots. Their structure is so different. And then there's the technology side of things. So the whole processing part, packaging technology, food safety. Um, so it has allowed me who gets bored very easily to become a fairly good expert um, in a lot of different sciences. And it's really important for me to understand all the different components in order to pull it all together. Um, but I guess the main thing that I do predominantly is science communication. So I'm, um, um, I do, yeah, I do a lot of science communication. I've been in the lab, I've worked in the lab, I've done the whole lab thing, but majority of my work at the moment is designing experiments and research projects um, and actually communicating quite technical concepts um, to industry um, on behalf of the government in different food environments, um, at scientific conferences, towards the agriculture sector, heading, you know, speaking to farmers, both in Australia and internationally. No, this was not the convention on Toyota crawlers, but there is a method to my madness. <laughs> um, and there's a reason why I do, I do use cars and toilet paper and all sorts of weird analogies in my presentations, um, all the way through to interacting with consumers um, on TV. So that's a little bit about who I am. Now, there are some of these video clips that I'm going to be doing is in relation to coronavirus. And in all truthfulness, I'm not a virologist, all right, but I'm going to try and explain to you just the basics of why we can't use an antibiotic to treat this, because I've, I've been asked that question. Um, what's the difference between a bacteria versus a virus? What is COVID-19 and what is coronavirus? Are they two different things and then we'll get on to the more foodie nutrition related things as well so thank you for watching thank you for joining my channel um 
I'm not an expert at all this YouTube stuff. You'll find videos of me online and they're done professionally. Um, but this is just the way that we can have a conversation and answer some of the questions that are coming through. All right. Bye.